Hi, this is Jared Brick from Brickhouse Media, and today we're going to go over Google Docs and how to create them. So if you go over to google.com, you do have to have a Gmail uh, email account to use this. So go to google.com, and in the top right, there's those nine buttons. So you just click Drive in the top right corner, and you can see these are all Google services that you have access to by having a Gmail account. So you go over to the left side there, and this is your Google Drive, and it says overview or create new. So you're going to go down to Google Docs, which is like a Word doc, and hit blank document. And from here, Google Docs is just like Word, except there's no save because it's all connected to the internet. So as you can see, we're setting up how to do a strategy overview. So those are the two documents we start with with our clients, a strategy overview and a media master document. And you click the right corner, you click share, you type in that person's email address and that will share this document with them. If you click get shareable link in the top right, you can allow people to edit, view, or comment. And you can copy that link back to them or in the bottom, you can actually share it with them. So you scroll down and you just hit share. And that will actually send them an email that they have access to this document. And I encourage you to do it only to the people that you need to have on a document. And you see how at the top here, shared with one person. Now we're going to create a sheet, which is like an Excel document. So we're going to go to blank spreadsheet, just like Excel. And again, there's no save. As long as you're connected to the internet, it saves automatically. So you rename that document. We call these media master document. And then we usually put a year on it. So that it reminds people, when did we create this document? And so if it's really old, you might want to update the year and update some of your passwords. Again, you go over to the right and you hit share and you type in their email address. It should come right up, there it is. And then you hit get shareable link if you wanna just send them a link also. And they can edit, comment, or view. Hit copy link, and then below that, there's a share button. And now you can actually edit this and it says shared with one person. And you can start to type in these fields. And these would be the main document that we use for media accounts and online documents. And we will fill in some of the information and then our clients fill in their proprietary information that of course we keep private. This document, which is a Word document, the strategy overview, this is more of a plan of the work that we're gonna be doing today. Could be on a website or a video or a timeline of the work that we're both accountable to. And also we put meeting notes in here. And remember, there's no save button. So if you're used to Microsoft Word, or a Word or word processing document, you don't have to hit save. It automatically saves everything that you're doing all the time as long as you're connected to the internet. If you wanna download this document to your computer, you can do it by PDF, TXT, or doc, Word doc. But remember, that means it lives on your computer. It does not live in the cloud on the internet. So the cool thing about Google Docs is you can collaborate together on the internet. And this is the same thing if you want to export your spreadsheet document to XLS or PDF. So it's up here in the top right corner, those nine buttons in the top right corner, if you want to find it. Or you can just type google.com, drive.com, mail.google.com, and you will always have this menu once you're signed in on the right side. And so if you're in your email, you just click the nine buttons and there's your drive and there's your sheets and your docs. And as you can see, there is the document right at the top of the list as the last document opened, or you can search for it. And here we're doing the same thing with Google Docs. You can click just docs, that will just show you your docs. And there it is right at the top. So you click that and that's the document, or you can click new right in the top left corner. And there it is in your inbox. So this is the invitation that the other person that you send it to will get in their email document. And that's the Google Doc format for the invitation. All they have to do is click it, you've given them access. They may need to sign in again, but other than that, they are accessible. The best thing to do is send it to someone who has a Gmail account, but if not, they should have access to it the way you send it. Enjoy using your Google Docs. So if you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to help you out. Take care.